there's existing code out there that will automatically update the year for you in your copyright. So you don't have to go back into your website, you know, every year on January 1st, bolt upright and remember that you have to update your copyright year. It'll just automatically update here. But the problem with the existing code is that it displays the uh, embedded scripts tag here. So that's not a problem for classic section editors, but now that Squarespace has moved to Fluid Engine, this embedded script notification is a big problem. So if I upgrade this section to Fluid Engine, I can't make this block any shorter than it is now because of this message here. So when I click save, all of a sudden my code block is ginormous in the footer uh, and it just, you know, doesn't look good. So I've written new code uh, as an alternative to this on how you should update your copyright year automatically in Fluid Engine. So uh, instead of writing the text in a code block, another benefit of this method is that we'll be able to write it in a text block. So it makes it much easier to format everything. I will go ahead and get rid of the code block. And then I'm just gonna add a normal text block to my section and drag it down to the bottom. I'll make it span full width, paste in my text here. Okay, so now I just have my normal text here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and center it. So um, the only thing that needs to be changed here is uh, where you want the date, go ahead and put the word date. So I'm just gonna, right after the copyright, I'm gonna put date. And now for this date, I'm gonna highlight it and add a link. And then for the link address, I'm gonna do hashtag or pound and then open up a bracket and put date and then do a closing bracket. And this is really important that you get this perfect because the code that I write looks for this uh, link URL in order to replace this word date with the actual current year. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And so now this is a link and I'm going to save. And now in the code injection, I have code um, that I'm going to link in, in the blog post below this video. So if you go to settings, advanced code injection, um, I'm going to scroll down to the footer code injection area and then paste in this code and hit save. And as soon as the site loads, we'll see that the date is no longer there. It's replaced by the current year. So um, the way that this code works is um, this is just styling. So we're targeting in the footer, we're targeting a link with that special URL and I'm changing the background to none and text decoration to none and pointer events to none. And that just gets rid of all the link styling. So it just is normal text now. And um, for the function, what we're doing is we're looking for that same link with that special URL. And then in the inner HTML, so it's replacing the date word with the, um, with nothing and then uh, creating a new node and replacing the date with the current year. So date.getFullYear is a JavaScript function that we can access uh, and it basically just gets the current year. So um, the nice thing about this is in Fluid Engine, now when you edit um, the text block, it's just normal text so it's very easy to format. Um, it's very easy to resize very easy to make this different you know I could make this smaller like a paragraph three if I wanted to um, it just makes everything much easier to work with as opposed to the code block and we also don't run into that that problem now the cool thing is you can easily do like a year um, a span of time for example like 2014 to the current date and if I save that it's just going to replace date with the current year and boom, so now we have like a span of time that our, our copyright um, applies to. So this code comes from my CSS toolbox course. It's a giant library of custom code and CSS snippets specifically for Squarespace 7.1. Um, so I just have tons of different styling that you can copy and paste into the site. So just like you were able to copy and paste this code and we've added some functionality to our site to make things easier, that's exactly what my uh, CSS Toolbox course does. So if you're interested in sprucing up your Squarespace 7.1 sites, then definitely check out the course in the link is in the description below. 
All right, I hope this video was helpful. The link to the code is in the description below and the link to CSS Toolbox is also in the description below. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If not, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Squarespace content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.